All right, everybody, welcome back. Another Tech Tip Tuesday. Nick Valencia here today. What we're gonna go through today is how to break down a set of three-piece cranks. This is the Elite Carbon Crank from Speedline. We're gonna go ahead and take it apart, get everything cleaned up, and get everything dialed. Yeah, dude. All right, guys, so first thing we're gonna do is get these end caps off. You're just gonna wanna go ahead. Now, what happens here is as you reverse these out, it's actually gonna walk the crank off. So go ahead and hold the crank there. The more that you loosen it up, you're gonna notice that it will actually walk the entire crank right off the spindle for you. There you go. So this is our crank and spider. We're gonna go ahead and set everything to the side. We'll start wiping things down and get everything lubed up, ready to go. As soon as you get that side off, this other side is just gonna pull straight out. As always, if you have any washers or anything on there, you're gonna to wanna to try to make sure that you don't drop any of them. Then this is your bottom bracket here. Speedline comes with a tool that's already connected, so it's gonna work nice and perfect there. Just go ahead and thread that out. Should be real nice, easy to thread. For you factory dads out there, let's try not to over tighten this stuff, okay? Now, as you guys can see there, there's quite a bit of little dirt, grime, things like that. Sometimes we ride a lot of these outdoor or even the indoor tracks, you'll kind of get a lot of sand, little things like that. That drivetrain will start getting crunchy, so what we're gonna do is give everything a nice wipe down today. All right guys, so we got the bottom bracket taken apart here. You guys can see a bunch of that stuff there. Basically just sand, okay? You're picking that up. Every time you go out on the track, that little stuff is getting in there. Sand is always gonna go ahead and bond with grease. So we're gonna go ahead and try to wipe down these threads the best we can. You'll see right there on that bearing surface as well. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and wipe down everything here. Try to keep that drivetrain running as clean as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the other side as well. Not a lot on there. Usually the drive side is a little bit more protected because the sprocket is there. So tend to be a little bit cleaner on that side. Now, before we go ahead and put everything in, basically any all-purpose grease, um, I'm partial to like a lithium or a silicone grease, um, but any grease, basically whenever there's gonna be metal touching other metal, if you can get some grease on there, it's gonna save the threads a little bit, keep you from having to have any issues with them. And also, if you ever have a bottom bracket that squeaks or creaks, makes little weird noises, Nine times out of 10, just dab it with a little bit of grease here and there, and that's gonna help you out with some of that stuff. So get plenty of grease on there. In that bottom bracket area there, we're just gonna go ahead and wipe out any of that old grease that's in there. We'll go ahead and do both sides, put a fresh coat on there as well. Yeah, so if you just put it in dry with no grease, um, Basically what will happen is it'll get a little bit tighter to get in. Sometimes it'll start to creak, it'll start to make noise, things like that. It's not the end of the world, but if you want your bike to last long, like most of us, we pay a lot for these bikes, so we want them to run nice and smooth. Try to make sure you get a little bit of grease on there. If you're in a pinch, can't put a new one, you'll be okay, but you always wanna keep things nice and lubed. Just gonna thread that in nice and smooth. If you get any resistance, go ahead and pull it out. Um, wipe it down, give it a little bit more grease. Any resistance means the threads aren't lining up and you don't want to tear up your frame. Just gonna add that onto there. Again, that tool comes supplied. You just need to snug it up. You don't need to go too crazy. Your cranks aren't gonna go anywhere. Opposite side going in here. Again, once you get it in, if it gives you any kind of resistance, go ahead and just back it up and start over, okay? Here we have our crank and our spindle. Like all things, we're gonna go ahead and give this a nice fresh wipe down too. Right, this is our left side crank arm. We're gonna go ahead and give this a nice wipe down too. Again, that little sand, you'll see in little spots, it really can get just about anywhere, okay? If there's sand out there, grit, dirt, we just wanna get as much of that out as we can. So go ahead and take the time. Sometimes you can use like a toothbrush, an old toothbrush. Make sure it's an old toothbrush, not your current one. Q-tips, anything, just shop rags, just like we're doing here. Just wanna get as much of that stuff clean as you can and then again like I said a little bit of lube there that spindle is going to be in there spinning we want to make sure that we're going as fast and as smooth as possible so we're going to go ahead and get a nice good amount of lube there we're going to slide it in from the other side of the frame fit it up nice and snug and now we're good to put on our drive side crank arm drive side crank arm like we said usually some sand kind of creeping in just about anywhere we're gonna go ahead and give that a good wipe down as well. And just like all the other parts, when we know there's gonna be metal against metal, like I said, we're gonna go ahead, get another little bit of grease as well. This is gonna basically gonna make sure that we don't get any squeaking in these little parts right here, because again, 
Squeaking's not good. We want our bikes to be nice and quiet, nice lubed up and smooth, okay? All right guys, so we have now the sprocket side. We've already got everything lubed. Again, we lubed all those threads, everything. Whenever metal is gonna be touching metal, we've got a little bit of lubrication on there. That's gonna keep you from getting any squeaks or anything. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on here. Now again, the speed lines, they will walk themselves on as you thread it. So if we can get it lined up there, start to thread that bad boy in. I hear a little bit of threads making noise, so that's kind of a good thing because it means we're tightening up. Again, this is for you factory dads out there. You don't want to over tighten too much as always. Get it on there, get it nice and snug. You can always re-tighten it later, but you can never undo a strip thread. That's kind of my one big thing. So get it on there. Go ahead and get that Allen in there. Give it a little quarter turn extra. Make sure everything's nice and snug. Check the chain tension. We'll get that out of there. As long as everything's nice and snug there, we've still got a good little roll. Everything's not binding. And again, if you do those tear downs, maintenance, especially after a big race, indoor, outdoor, a lot of that sand will settle in there. We wanna wipe down as much of that, get a new bit of lube in there, and then everything will be good to go. All right guys, so we got the bottom bracket on. Everything's looking good. No binding, everything's spinning nice and free. Um, so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and get that chain on. We've got the back on already. So we're gonna go ahead and set the front there, walk it on forward. Deegan does have the spring-loaded tensioner, so setting his tension is gonna be nice and easy. We're simply gonna put the spring-loaded guide back there, set it, and like Bill says, set it and forget it, okay? So that thing's good to go. Um, pretty much buttoned up now. If you guys got any questions or anything, shoot them in the comments. Again, biggest thing, keep everything lubed, keep that chain line in. Anything that you need, let us know in the comments. We're gonna go ahead and get out on the track. Oh yeah, it, it was this one, because I put the wrench on it to like bend it back in. Like I would spin it and it was like, and it was like staying high the whole way. And I was like, how did you not you know notice why? that? Ponies right here. Uh, yeah, I guess, and ponies is eating all right. <laughs>